It is always very hard to say, you know. Uh, well, it is for me. It's hello. Tesla say the average Tesla battery loses after 200,000 miles 12% of its original capacity. And I'm wondering, is this true? Uh, my Tesla Model 3 is showing after 16,000 miles a 4% reduction. So I'm well on the way to that 12%. And I know that the reduction will slow down over time, but I still think 4% is quite high. To be fair, I've looked at lots of graphs on Tesla degradation, and I've done my own graph based on the Tesla predictions. And I'll show you in a minute, so please stick around, and I really do hope you can like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. I'd love to get to a 1,000 subscribers. It's not many, is it? But it would make an old man very happy. I've had some very smart people uh, tell me, leaving comments, and it's very much appreciated, very grateful. Um, and a lot of them do say that the miles on the touchscreen is not necessarily accurate of the range of the car. But it's the only thing I can go on. The miles that it actually says is the miles that I'm basing my argument on unless anyone can convince me otherwise. Now, I don't normally let the battery fall below 10%, but it was suggested in one of the comments that I do that, then charge to 100%, uh, but it didn't increase the range on the touchscreen. And if you go back to my most viewed video, which was no more 100% charging for me, since then I'd have charged to 100% because it's recommended by Tesla and I think I'm doing the right thing. According to my charge stats on the Tesla app, which is very useful information, not only for monthly, which sometimes the Tesla supercharging is zero and sometimes it's a lot on a road trip. The last year shows that I charged 27% at home and I don't do a lot of miles weekly and most of it is on road trips and you can see that I've done 49% of our miles using the Tesla superchargers, 24% at the slower destination chargers and local chargers. So this is really good information of charging stats on the Tesla app. We use the Mayo app in Portugal and Spain and also Charge Place Scotland in Scotland, which are quite excellent. So we bought the Tesla Model 3 last December. 20 months ago. Now the first 7,700 miles, the range declined six miles from 263 to 257 miles um, over 10 months, which was 2.2%, which works out that for every 1,283 miles driven, I lost one mile of range. Now, if you project that based on its range when fully charged, that would give me a life of the car of 330,000 miles, which is not bad based on those calculations. I once had a company car, an Astral Diesel back in the 80s, did 130,000 miles in it over about three or four years, which was 90% of his life. And that just puts it in perspective, even with me being happy with the range degradation, which is always very hard to say, you know, uh, well, it is for me. It still gives me a life of 330,000 miles, which ain't bad. And of course, I know it's always worse at the beginning of the car's life, not so much as it gets older. So today I looked at my uh, mileage after 16,000 miles in total and 20 months, and it had gone from 257 maximum range to 252, which is another reduction of five miles, but it slowed down to 1.94% or 1,692 miles for every mile degradation. So for a total of 16,000 miles, the range has decreased 11 miles or 1,469 miles for every mile. So that would actually give a battery life of 370,000 miles, which is 50,000 mile improvement on the 330. So I'm not complaining, those sort of numbers are fantastic. And as someone once pointed out in the comments that the car will have rusted and be uh, long after the battery is still used. And of course it's gonna be recycled. So this is not a complaint, it's just giving some facts. Something you may be aware of when you do see the, that the mileage going down in the first sort of 12 months of owning the car. 
but that percentage is coming down as everyone has told me and predicted. Now what I've been doing, I've, I've been charging to 100% my LFP battery at home, but I try not to charge to 100% at superchargers. So I estimate probably 50% of the time I do charge to 100%, especially if I'm going on a long road trip in my standard range model three, sort of down to the bottom of Portugal through Spain, Scotland. I feel more comfortable, don't get range anxiety. But another great feature of the Tesla touchscreen when charging at superchargers, it tells you when you've got enough charge to reach your destination or the next supercharger, which I find very useful. And obviously Tesla knows more people can use the supercharger if they're not charging right to the maximum where it slows down and it takes a lot, lot longer to charge. Tesla want to see as many people getting through the supercharger as possible. So it's very good use of technology. And of course, if you're only 50 miles from home or 100 or 150, you only need enough charge to get you home if you can charge at home where it will be much cheaper. But of course, Tesla in the UK, supercharging is pretty good right now. I think the dearest around about 50, 51p at the peak times and 40p for most of the day from about eight o'clock at night till four in the afternoon. So the supercharging is pretty good. So I'm predicting my Tesla degradation does slow down having studied so many graphs. I've done my own graph, as I said earlier, uh, with uh, showing 4% after 16,000 miles. And all the graphs do suggest the leveling off degradation. So Tesla may be correct and only really time will tell. We will see. I'll let you know when I've done the 200,000 miles. It'd be nice to have 200,000 followers as well, wouldn't it? Anyway, what do you think? Thanks for your comments. Uh, please keep them coming. Hope you can look at my other videos. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget your reusable mug wherever you go. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.